Aperture works in close unison with the shutter speed and ISO. Both control the amount of light that is allowed to enter the camera. Aperture is different from shutter speed. Remember, shutter speed is a timer, which controls the amount of time that the light is allowed into the camera, whether it's one second or one five hundredth of a second. The aperture is a diaphragm, measured by f-stops, which controls the amount of light allowed onto the sensor. Think of these settings as a trio working together to create the perfect image. Let's look a little deeper into aperture. Have a look at this animation of a shot, which has a very contrasting light setup. One critical thing to keep in mind is that when adjusting your aperture to the desired f-stop, you must take into account that the frame you are shooting will have a variety of different f-stops within the shot. For example, if we were to take a light reading, we would encounter various readings within the frame. It may seem confusing with all these different readings, but what this tells you is that there are various intensities of light hitting and making up this frame. What the light reading is giving you is the median or average setting of exposure. This is important since once this average has been established, you then want to keep in mind how bright and how dark the rest of your frame is. As you can see in this example, some of the image is overexposed and some of the image is really dark. This is due to the light variances and the contrast within the frame. So keep in mind that your final aperture setting is the average f-stop of your entire frame. Another thing to note is your aperture can also affect your focus. It may sound strange, but it all comes down to depth of field, which is what we will cover next.